The story of technology innovation in Nigeria won't be complete without mentioning Computer Village, a multi-billion naira market where you can find anything and everything tech. In fact, one can argue that this is where the real tech revolution in Nigeria started. Tech Trend decided to visit Computer Village, Ikeja, Lagos, to find out what is going on and how the people who do business in this market are faring. We also have other segments lined up for you. It promises to be an interesting show. My name is Chuka Mekagbata and this is Tech Trend. Computer Village Ikeja in Lagos is one of the largest information technology markets in West Africa. The market became a household name in corporate Nigeria during the late 1990s after it moved from Ogulano Drive in Surulere. A year after the GSM services was introduced to Nigeria, Computer Village became the central location for telecom and IT brands to sell mobile devices and IT equipment. With the recent growth in online buying, usually known as e-commerce, some buyers and sellers say they prefer coming to the market because there is more options of products and also they have physical feel of the product they are buying. We have a lot of people buying online, but it depends. When it comes to IT, um, there are challenges to those online they have. When it comes to giving a customer the right specification online, because there are cases where people try to get items online and it's different from what they see. So in the market, you are sure of getting what you want. What you see is what you get when it comes to getting products from the market. As a Nigeria, you are in Nigeria and I'm in Nigeria. We believe in, I want to see what I want to pay for. I want to test what I want to pay for before I can pay. It's just like uh, you want to buy a car now. You have to test that car before you pay. When you purchase a phone from online, by the time some of them is on used phone, but you don't get to know because of the way they package it. So I prefer to buy my phone here. That's why I'm still looking for phones to buy. Anyway, I got one for myself. Apart from the sales of information technology accessories, the market also deals in the repair of mobile phones and computers. The market over the years has attracted new investors and ICT dealers across Africa. This has led to the expansion of the market size and population with profound effects on Lagos state economy. Due to the population density of the market, the Lagos state government has decided to relocate over 3,000 traders in the market to a new location in Katangora, a suburb of Lagos, Nigeria. Alphabet Incorporated YouTube will launch a $10 a month subscription option in the United States. This lets viewers watch videos across the site without interruption from advertisement. The service, which is called YouTube Red, is expected to start early next year, which will add exclusive shows and movies from top YouTube creators. Consumers are embracing paid subscriptions for ad-free content at an incredible pace. YouTube Red marks an evolution in our desire to give fans more choice and features that they love and have a much greater experience they've been asking for. The effort offers a new source of revenue for YouTube and its video creators. I'm so happy to be here. I can honestly say YouTube has made everything I do possible and for that reason I'm so excited to share Unicorn Island with the world through YouTube Originals. Rival streaming sites such as Vessel and Interactive Course Video are luring online stars to their paid offerings which provide creators a larger cut of revenue than they typically receive from YouTube's ad-supported videos. Facebook also is taking steps to boost video viewership on its site. YouTube will continue to offer its free ad-supported service which has more than 1 billion viewers around the world. Thousands of kids and their families rush to a Paris toy fair where participants pull out all the stops, displaying a wide range of toys including flying fairies and talking robots. A real kid's wonderland. The Kid Expo is organized annually during the two-week-long school holiday vacation in France commemorating All Saints Day and features the latest toys for all ages. <laughs> uh, 
Among the new toys gathering balls are Meccano's robots, which walk and talk and respond to commands. Director in charge of Meccano products, Julian Blanchet, says the new technology has made the robot so interesting to children. The new thing about this robot is that there is an enormous amount of technology integrated into the robot. But the technology is very easy for children to use. It has a voice recognition. A child from the age of seven or eight years old can talk to him and tell him what to do and the robot will react according to these demands. Other children watch totally engaged as flying drones flip and fly up to the ceiling and then back down, hovering delicately above their heads with just a click of a button. Girls enjoy glittering flying unicorns and spinning fairies and take part in fashion shows and makeup sessions inspired by the latest wave of Disney films. For some parents, the fair is a source of inspiration for this year's Christmas shopping an opportunity to watch as their children try out toys that trickle their fancy.